of the week is fasting. The definition of fasting is abstaining for all or some kind of food or drink, especially as a part of religious observance. This means you are depriving yourself to, of something too. You can't have it. What does fasting mean to you? Fasting means to me when I give up something I enjoy. Yeah, what does fasting mean to you? Fasting means to me when I give up something. What have you fasted from before? I've, um, I haven't, but this year I was thinking about it. What have you fasted from before? Um, I am going to fast this Lent, giving up sweets. Fasting is the process of giving something up in order to turn away from sin and come closer to God. We often begin fasting or abstaining from something on Ash Wednesday. This is the day which begins the period of Lent. Lent is the period of six weeks, 40 days not including Sundays, leading up to Easter when Jesus rose again after being crucified. The period of Lent links to the 40 days of nights that Jesus spent in the desert. This year Ash Wednesday is on Wednesday the 2nd of March. This is the day we typically begin to fast from something in our lives. The day before Ash Wednesday is called Shrove Tuesday. We call this Pancake Day. We often eat pancakes on this day as traditionally this was the last chance to eat foods Christians would not be eating during Lent due to fasting. Some places in the world celebrate Shrove Tuesday as Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras translates from French as Fat Tuesday. Again, this is the day where people tended to eat all the foods that were left over in their homes before fasting during Lent. Mardi Gras is often celebrated through carnival celebrations including parades, colourful costumes and mass. Once this is over, people get ready to fast from, from, from Ash Wednesday onwards. Ash Wednesday is usually marked by a mass where Christians receive a cross on their forehead using ashes. These ashes come from the burnt palm used in pa Palm Sunday the year before. Ash Wednesday is used as a time of repentance to say sorry to God for any wrongdoing. There are many reasons why we should fast during Lent. It's a way of saying sorry for the sins we have committed. It makes room for God in our lives. And the aim of Lenten fasting is to bring us closer to God and Jesus. Fasting is a way of doing this as Jesus fasted while he was in the desert. He was tempted by the devil to make food for himself and prove he was the son of God, but Jesus refused. The scripture is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hello, friend. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. 
Satan came to him and said, Hey, if you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No, the word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. No. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. The scripture this week tells us that he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and ignored the temptations around him even though he was hungry and tired. This is what we need to do during then. Fast from something you enjoy and don't give up whenever it gets difficult or there are temptations around you. This could be chocolate or sweets, meat, or giving up something like watching TV, going on the Xbox, or going on the computer or your phone. To reflect on the word this week, we would like you to think of your Lenten reflection. You will need a Lenten reflection sheet and some colours. Take the piece of paper, think about what your Lenten reflection is going to be, what are you going to fast from, write this down on your paper. Take this with you and colour in one square on the path each day if you manage to keep your fast going. Don't worry if you don't, but keep trying to fast just like Jesus. How does this link to our mission statement? We can remember to trust in God that he is always with us and can help us to complete our fasting. This would allow us to create a better tomorrow by being closer to God and knowing what he is wanting us to do. Your mission this week is in two parts. One is to try and keep your fasting promise during Lent from Ash Wednesday onwards. The second part is a way of living out the synod responses we talked about in class and how we can encourage others to do this. So far, our synod response mission, we would also encourage you to give a little money to charity during Lent to support those in need. <laughs>